is so loud. Where's the- There's no sound settings. Nope. 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 No, thank you. Oop. Oh dear. That's the- that's a real monster. How's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, by the way. I've seen a little bit of it. I'll get the game launching. Oh my, it is so loud. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, stop. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, that was so loud. It's small. Wait, why is it small? Oh, there we go. It is so loud, where's the s There's no sound settings. How do I go back? <laughs> New game, I've never played this before. I just got it yesterday. Oh, you can't jump. <laughs> I was gonna jump up and grab her. Get down here. Just suck her up with a vacuum cleaner right now, the game's done. Anyway, sorry if you wanted to hear the riveting dialogue. E is open the door. I already, for I already forgot what the control thing said just five seconds ago. I am under the impression there are a thousand floors in this game, which is a lot. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. Uh-oh, we're not the first. Floor 10, we're a hundredth of the way there. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody in here? Come out, I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid of you! No. Someone defiled the art. There's a spirit that hates art. I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Yuck. It's drinking ink like a loser. For Spooky's House of Jump Scares, but that was the original title, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. If you look at the store page, they put tape over the original title. <laughs> Okay, we're 2% of the way there. Surprising lack of jump scares, 21 floors in. These aren't real windows. They're stickers, sticker windows. Oh no, how horrid, terrible. Leave me alone, it's a long hallway. Let's go all the way down, I think we... Nope, nope, nope. No thank you. Oh, a bed, looks like a big block of graphite and a big piece of chalk. Does not look like a very comfortable bed. Now this one, this one looks comfortable. If there's any monsters in this mansion, I just wanna let you know, my guard is not down. I'm fully prepared to defend myself. <laughs> oh, you silly cup of tea. I can't stay mad at you. <gasps> Save point, ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible, stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it is a very romantic idea. Aww, thank you. Oh, it's like Resident Evil. <laughs> Watch your tone. That's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I woke today with from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I am not sure what brand or year for it there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. That's not that's not wine, that's oop blood. I don't think that was wine. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere or something is taking them. Slime. Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards, ingest, invoking, nailing, never stops the choking. Oh dear. That's the, that's a real monster. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta go. We gotta go. Move. We gotta get the heck out of here. Uh-oh. 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 Did that one look like a dead end? Look like there is a- Move! He's cheating! No, no, no. Oh, wrong way. Ow! Let me, let me go. <laughs> that was scary. This game is so loud. I have it on like 50%. That one got me to say ow. I think this is my last note. I'm gonna die having never found my escape, but really that's not true. This place was like my escape, my escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. It's like a, oh, locked. Locked. Sorry. Ah, okay. Clears a bit of things up. Smart. <laughs> Stupid ass ice cream cone. <laughs> that was the scariest an ice cream cone has ever been. I get stuck on the corners. I, I, that's one thing is like you kind of get stuck on walls and corners and stuff. Uh, it's not a huge issue. 
I dead? Am I in heaven? Okay, I think right, right, forward, left. Right, right, forward, left was the pattern. Bro, you missed your timing so bad. <laughs> you were so slow. You're a disappointment to all the other monsters and ghouls and ice creams and cups of coffee in this house. I hope you know that. I meant that, by the way. Cat DOS access specimen database. Specimen one. It's the little monster cutouts. Cardboard cutout figure that springs out from against from the walls. Prove not very effective against healthy subjects. Type docile. Total fatalities four. These things have killed four people by heart attack. 99, we're almost at 100. We are a tenth of the way through. Oh no. It's the, he died unromantically. Oh no. Pour one out. Keep that blood pumping. That's just rude. He, he died having to read that. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Video games! Why is it making that noise? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Swick, she's married. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh! This is brutal! Oh my god! Wait, the resolution's got all, all messed up again. Why is it so small? The resolution gets small when I play the, the game. Was it like that for this one too? Well, sorry for the flashing lights. It's snowing! School is cancelled! But... Don't yell at me. Keep an eye out for the next stream. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we'd love to have you back. 3 a.m., oh my goodness. Yeah, get to bed. Hope you don't have to get up too early. <laughs> you're, uh, you're probably still awake now. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. All right, all right. Don't go getting all self-aware on me now. Something about that looks really delicious and I don't know why. <laughs> We're in a lab. <laughs> this is where the dinosaurs went. It looks like it could be a hand puppet. That's just poop. Let's not let's not sugarcoat it. There's a little baby man. No, what have they done to the little baby man? They dipped him in chocolate. That's bad. That's really bad. Subject five is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep these things docile, I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely. You're telling me this thing is needs to be pacified? This thing is not docile? Ooh, that's... this is bad. I believe subject five is loose. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. From generic lab assistant. So I'm gonna name my kid, I think. Huh. Oh dear! Oh! <laughs> don't stand above the holes! Don't stand in <laughs> let me in! Let me in! Oh my god, that scared me so bad I got spun around and didn't know where the exit was. Why do I- I don't know why I'm looking behind me. That spider discombobulated me. Look at all that space you could've used. Could've learned something from this dude. Just saying. We did it! Floor 150. There's just no message here. This is just cute. Well, I haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm certain- I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition. Bro thinks he's the protagonist. Ha! You're all the protagonist of your own journey. <gasps> the brain. <laughs> saved someone's brain. How do I get up there, huh? Or maybe, maybe we are up there, but from the... What? Oh, it's Slimo. No, what an awful painting. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no more corners. No! Shut up. <laughs> huh? What? Oh. Is there any, any point dexters shoved in these lockers? Matsuri never came to class today. I hope she made it home okay. From that one. What? Why did you do that? What's wrong with kids these days? Oh, that was rude. Could it really be true? I thought the fairy tales about the ghosts that eats children who sneak in after class was just to keep us from disobeying, but Matsuri is still missing. You know this is a game because the kids are sneaking to go back into school. For what purpose could they have been doing so? 
Oh dear. Locked. Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to run. Leave me alone. Thank you. What a respectful. Oh my. That's not cute. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. That's not cute at all. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also somehow related to the souls of the people they kill somehow. Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. I wonder what the antagonist will look like. I hope they're cute. Oh, buddy, you don't even, you don't even know. That skull that came out of the wall was not even the main antagonist. We're almost at room 200. It's like a fifth of the way there. Some of these rooms are very easy. Oh, my. I could never stay mad at you. Mwah. I just realized that I never had a mentor figure, trial, or leaving home scene. It means this story isn't following the archetypes that make me a traditional hero, which means I can be killed off. <laughs> <laughs> just, that person just had an existential crisis. This is a long hallway. I want to go back. <laughs> I don't like how long this hallway is. Oh! No! Is it the... <laughs> Day two, food supply depleted. Water supply at 30%. Mental health deteriorating. Leaving notes behind to help others and mark where I've been. Hope you, I hope you read this. You should be able to kick in this game. You know what month it is. Put a little candle in there. Day three. Hallucinations are manifesting at increased intervals. It causes probably sleep deprivation or a gas that is being pumped into the rooms. I have not yet been injured, so I don't think the cause is brain injury or blood clot. Uh oh, I don't like this. Darkness is slowly consuming us now. I don't think our rituals will appease it much longer. How were we supposed to know this would happen? What was the cause of this? Let's, let's diagnose this issue. Can we get some context? It's not really our fault, debatable. We just did that what mother has told us to do in this sort of situation. Someone went to bed. Mother's not pleased with us, but how are we supposed to know that the girl wasn't pure? Well, it's foggy now. Oh. Oh! I want out of this room. I don't want to go in the bubblegum room again. What? Oh! No! What is that you're holding? It's a big ass sword. He's gonna do the Omni Slash. Oh! No! Not the- <gasps> Oh! What the- What? What is happening? We gotta go! Where am I? Stop! <laughs> No, 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 no. Quit messing up all the rooms. The developers worked hard. We're free. Three of them. Oh no, the cotton candy triplets. They had a bone to pick with me. <gasps> no thanks to you. No instructions. Gift. That was so loud. That was not funny at all. <laughs> This one's facing the wrong way. They're not, they can't even get coordinated. That was really nice. Bro, I am not in, in the mood. I now feel the strength to carry on. Oh no, the spider's back. I am afraid again. <laughs> oh no, oh, 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 Beowulf, oh, Beowulf. I don't know what the actual line is. You're, you're awful. Despite this this glowing aura about you, you have made an enemy today. Day four, I'm starting to lose track of time. The battery on my phone became very low, so I delegated to save it in case I find an exit. Brought a phone to the to the function. You use it so much, you're out of battery. Hmm. If you get invited to a haunted house, you know you gotta be a. Mer be so sad. Oh, I got to get out of here. We're safe. Day five. I can't remember. Why did I come here? Was there ever a purpose? I believe death is steadily approaching me now. The hallucinations can hurt me. I'm out of provisions and I'm having sudden violent heart palpitations. You should have taken this with him. I'm feeling better already. Day seven. I can't tell the real from unreal anymore. My limbs refuse to move the way I want them to. I feel like I'm waiting in a deep river that is always flowing against my direction. Now I will lay down and let the river flow over me and I will let it guide me to its end. I know where I'm going anyway. This place, this entire place is just a gyrating, screaming rock in the vastness of an infinite kingdom. I'm going to rest now. I'll be watching over you. Hello? 
It's kind of a funky room, although that... What are these? Masks? They look like masks. Just afterwards, he came run... Wait, I think I need to read this one first. This is like... This is like Pulp Fiction. We're getting the story out of order. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, they... some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. Fucked. That's so messed up. Oh, pardon my language. But just afterwards, he came running to the river crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and so angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. God, that's terrible. There's gotta be another key in here. Okay, is this? I don't want to take that up. That looks like a bad key. That key looks like a bad omen. Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers are satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed to almost look like the missing children sometimes. Oh. Oh dear. Oh! Gotta get out of here. Okay, he doesn't move when you look at him, but he will disappear if you look at him for too long. 33 seconds? Wait, oh! What? Okay, so it takes... Wait, a whole 33 seconds? That's a long time. Nice chapped lips, dude. Oh, okay. We're free. We're free! 30? What did I tell you earlier? So don't do it again. We are almost halfway through, I just realized. There are like 164 more rooms until we're halfway there. Kind of ridiculous. It's fine, I didn't want to finish my thought anyway. So many of them now. No, not you again, the ghost, the ghost girl. Wait, we're at 350, there is no save point. Oh, is it only every 100 rooms now? It's very scary. Born to Gondola? That is an awesome username. <laughs> I don't like scary games. I'm sorry. I'll keep the scariness to a minimum. Just for you. <laughs> this spider does not want to seem to enter the room. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Born born to Gondola. Did not have a protection, protection spell cast. Kitty cat. I'm taller than you. This is the bloody worm room. Explain. Two sides of the same coin. No can still be the cat? Yeah, we could just stay here, honestly. Be part, but, 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 but. No one cares. So we went there, we went there. We gotta go here. Oh, no. I was a little bit confused. What? 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 No, not, no, not you. Huh? This is... Different. Oh dear. Run, run, run. What? Where am I? Huh? Oh god, what's happening? That was terrible. That made me feel really uncomfortable. 